Like when I was 17 years old, I just started doing stand-up comedy. Uh, so the nights I wasn't gigging, uh, my friends would come around to my house. We went until my mum and dad went to sleep. And then while they were asleep, we'd sneak out in the back garden and we'd smoke as much marijuana as we possibly could. But we didn't want to get caught, right? Because marijuana is still very, very illegal in Scotland. Fortunately, we were 17 years old and therefore geniuses. So we decided that before we came in, we'd just douse ourselves in aerosol, just deodorant cans, just all the time. Because that's a normal thing that people go outside to do. Like as if four boys were gonna go out in the back garden and then come back in smelling like DJs. <laughs> and my mum and dad were gonna be like, oh, they went outside to do, yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Fuck the environment, right? <laughs> Now, one morning, oh, after a night of fucking smoking weed, I come downstairs and my mum's in the kitchen. Now, I'm used to seeing her at home. That's where her office is. I'm not used to seeing her furious, though. I walk into the kitchen. She just looks at me. She's like, I'm very, very disappointed in you. And I'm like, I'm a 17-year-old comedian. I'm very aware of that. <laughs> What's new, bitch? Didn't say that. I would never dare. I would never, I would never dare say that to my mother. I was like, why, mummy bear? What's wrong? Who hurt you? <laughs> She goes, guess what I found in the garden? And that annoyed me. Mothers will never directly accuse you of the thing that they know you've done. They'll just vaguely accuse you of something in a general direction and hope you run towards the admission with open arms because they think it proves that you're a good person. It's a very stupid line of inquiry. And I know it's a stupid line of inquiry because it doesn't exist anywhere in the world outside of mothers. You've never heard, Mr. Smith, open up, it's the police. Mr. Smith, I can see you in there. Come to the front door. Okay, he's coming, he's coming. Stand out, stand out. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Smith, me and my partner just have a couple of questions for you, if you don't mind. Guess whose body we found in the river? <laughs> oh, uh, oh, uh, was, it, was it that guy who I murdered? Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, how did you get me to do that? Oh, you got me, officer mum, you fucking moron. <laughs> Guess what I found in the garden? Dog shit. <laughs> she doesn't say anything. She goes into her back pocket. She brings out an empty can of deodorant, sticks it on the table. And I'm like, fuck, I've been rumbled. I'm terrified that I'm about to be in trouble. But I am also secretly impressed by my mother's levels of deduction. She's worked out I'm a drug addict from an empty can of aerosol. <laughs> I can't fathom that level of intelligence. I'm sat there looking at this checkmate piece, trying to work out how I'm out of the game already. Just so fucking confused, trying to fathom that level of intelligence. She mistakes my silence for me being like, well, I'm gonna play it cool. <laughs> well, I don't know what this is, I've no idea what this is. She sees me and she gets more angry. She's like, fine, I'll say it, I'll say it, I'll say it. This is how naive my mother is. I'll say it, you and your friends have been sniffing deodorant cans. <laughs> Aww. You're a fucking moron. 